Ricky Baker. He is a bad egg. His history of offences and re-offences is too long to list. We're talking graffitiing, littering, smashing stuff, burning stuff, breaking stuff, stealing stuff, throwing rocks, running away. And that's just the stuff we know about. You haven't heard of Hunt for the Wilder People, but this is a film that you're really going to enjoy. This is a film that was a hit at Sundance, the kind of hit that people, when they told you they saw it, a smile crept onto their face. They just enjoyed it. There's no one else who wants you, okay? That's my husband, Hector. You hungry? That's a silly question, isn't it? Look at you. <laughs> is there anything you want me to do? Yeah, leave me alone. Cool. This is really an enjoyable film. It's got warmth, it's got comedy, it's got adventure, it's got a lot of the things we go to the movies for. Its story seems a little bit obvious. It's an odd couple pairing. There's a urban teenager, 13-year-old kid from the city. He's ornery, he's a would-be gangster. He, people say he's trouble. He ends up being paired with an old guy a bush rat, a guy who could survive in the wilderness for months, no question asked. Played by Sam Neill, who's one of New Zealand's best and most recognizable actors. The kind of fun and trouble these two guys get into together is really a treat. This is based on a book by a man named Barry Crump, who in addition to being a wonderful New Zealand author, made a series of Toyota commercials that made him an even bigger star in his own country. What's the fastest way out of here? Jetpack! Do you actually have a jetpack? No? What? Everything about this film is charming, and I'm happy to be able to recommend it. This is Kenneth Turan of the Los Angeles Times. One time, he walked really slowly across the pedestrian crossing and held up all the traffic. Mm -hmm.